Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our gospel comes to us from St. John 11, verses 1 to 45, and it tells us the familiar story of the death and resurrection of Lazarus. This story has so many facets to it. However, what is apparent to me is how faith and loss are intertwined. It is at times of our greatest loss that we are called on to exercise our greatest faith. Throughout our lives, we experience loss, loss of a loved one, loss of a job, loss of health, loss of freedom, loss of a relationship. But in our darkest awe, our faith in God and his goodness is what sustains us and gives us hope. In the story, we are told of a family, Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. And in a very subtle way, the passage conveys how close the family was to Jesus. Mary was the one who washed Jesus' feet and dried them with her hair. Your friend Lazarus, whom you love, is ill. These are just some of the tidbits given to us. Now this family is faced with first an illness and then the death of their loved one. We are also told of the potential loss of freedom or loss of life, as the place where Lazarus lived was a dangerous place for Jesus to go back to, as not long before he was practically chased from the town with threats of stoning, so to go back there could mean death for him. In one circumstance, we are exposed to the tremendous faith in Jesus that Mary and Martha had. In that one, they expressed the certainty that had Jesus been there, then Lazarus would not have died. And two, having died, when Jesus said Lazarus would live again, Martha expressed the assurance that yes, he would rise again in the last day. This could only come from the close relationship they had with Jesus and from that relationship, the faith that they had in his teaching and divinity. They knew with utmost certainty that Lazarus would have a place with the Lord. Later in the passage, we hear Thomas speak of accompanying Jesus back to Judea to die with him there as he was certain that the people would seize Jesus and make good on their threat to kill him. Why would he be so willing to die for Jesus? This also could only be from an abounding faith in what Jesus stood for and the life in the hereafter that he promised if only they would believe and follow him. In this difficult time when we are experiencing all things COVID, we are fearful. Some persons are dealing with the real possibility of job loss, some deterioration in health, and others possible lo loss of a loved one. Let us face it, we are running scared. However, I'm here to tell you that now more than ever is when we should search deep down and pull on our faith. Continue to build on the relationship you have with the Lord as this is what will deepen our faith and make it so tangible that we can almost touch it. I would also want us to see the opportunities that exist in this crisis to further the cause of Christ, to spread the good news, not just in words, but also in deeds. Call someone you haven't seen or spoken to in a while. Maybe deliver a meal to someone who may be more destitute with the downturn in the economy. Let us not make fear cripple us to the extent that we cannot reach out and offer solace to someone in need, even remotely. We are now tasked to become more innovative in reaching others so that we can share our faith, share the goodness of the Lord and what life in him means. Let our faith speak through us and for us. Let each one reach one.